welcome. It's Jenkins office hours. This is the 20th of December. Be reminded that we follow the Jenkins code of conduct. So Diraj, was, were there any particular questions that you had or topics we should visit? Yes, so just a small question I had. I came here just to ask for the changes I did in my recent pull request as a, as a part of my blog. So I was asked by Tim that I'm missing an instruction where I'm supposed to tell the readers that where the Jenkins.yaml file is supposed to be and uh, how you will use to configure it by changing the system message property of it. So I, if I'm not wrong, uh, if, if you want to uh, check the changes that I've uh, sent as a PR, you would have to build the website locally, right? I, 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 and I, that's easy for me to do. It takes just seconds. So let's, let's look mm -hmm. at that together. And okay, so it says missing where to put the Jenkins YAML file. Okay, so hang on just a minute while I start up the system to evaluate your pull request and then we will look at it together, if that's okay. Sure. Because part of it is I think we need to change the date of your of your blog post because we've now we'll post it, we would post it today. So we need to date it for the 20th. Yes, I think that okay. is right. Get and, uh, merge master. I can actually see just the Jenkins logo on the screen. Is that intentional? Uh, okay, just a minute. So let me let me get the site running in development mode and. Okay, the site is running. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Let's see, let me put away some things that are here. And I am going to share my screen and show you what I see. And then we can walk through it together. Okay, so sharing screen now. Okay. And here is the site. Okay, so when I click blog, configure plugins with Jcask. Okay, so if you're a beginner, Jcask, good, good. The documentation link works. The overview link works. Manage Jcask, that works, good, okay. All right, now the, the introduction. Oh, whoops, whoops, wait a second. Brief introduction. Oh, now that was odd. What happened? Okay. All right, so brief, here's what a YAML file looks like. Now the, and the change that Tim wanted was he wanted to alter in the load well, so tell me where I should navigate to next to see the change. Okay, so the, the so suggestion this, uh, is... This section is the latest change. So say that again. The brief introduction camel function that I've added in this pull request. Okay, so, so all right. So that now that surprises me then because I'm looking at what I think is the most recent code. Just a minute, maybe I've made a mistake. So let's go look. All right, what I see in the pull requests is, okay, so add hyperlinks and small corrections, add info about the Jenkins YAML file. And so here is the text, brief introduction to the Jenkins YAML file and brief introduction to Jenkins YAML. So there it's added. Okay, so Diraj, sorry, Diraj, is this the, is this the um, section you, you wanted to review? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. 
All right, so it says the Jenkins YAML file contains configuration of the Jenkins instance. All right, so there's a change. We like to use, uh, okay, let's see, your, your blog post is in content. Or here, I'll just put the comments here. Okay, so um, we, we like Jenkins to be capitalized because it's a product name. Now, where did that go? Where is my link that will let me make a comment? I'm missing something here. Huh, okay, just a minute. Oh, because I'm in the commits view. I know, I see. We wanna approve that to run workflow. I need to go to files changed. And here we're looking for Jenkins space. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, this was the one I wanted to make a comment on. Okay, so prefer to have uppercase J there, the JCASC, and we generally prefer to do sentence per, oh yeah, sentence per line, uh, just to make it easier for us as reviewers. Okay, then the yes. default location of Jenkins YAML is, so let's just capitalize Jenkins. Hello, Zinab. Okay, so capitalize Jenkins. Hi, Mark. <laughs> All right, then the default, lo okay, here it is. And this is the text that you were adding. The default location is Jenkins home, Jenkins.yaml from where it can be fetched. This, right, okay, so download your, manage Jenkins, make sure this file is saved there, right. And then let's change the system message field. Okay, and here you show a picture. All right, now let's take a look at this. Ah, there it is. And the picture shows exactly what you were saying. Jenkins, system message. This, Jenkins, okay, that looks reasonable. And now, now do you need the width of 700 pixels? What happens if that width is not there? Uh, if the width is not there, then the image is a bit smaller in size and it becomes quite blurry, I think. Ah, okay, got it. All right. So, and it, it's the reason I ask is because I just shrunk my window to, whoops, let me bring this up. I think I just sh shrunk my window to a rather common width and it it gives me a horizontal scroll bar. And I think that's because of that 700 pixel width. Just a minute, let's go to 800. Yeah, so if I'm at 800 pixels wide, I've absolutely got a horizontal scroll bar there. Now, why do I have, oh, oh, and that's because of the, the video here. Okay, that's probably then unavoidable. Whereas at 1024, it's okay, great, all right. Forgive my checking. I, I'm, I'm, I've learned that I need to check horizontal scroll bars. Okay. Yes, I think you should always avoid a horizontal scroll scroll bars, right? Well, always is is a little too strong, just because mm -hmm. the technique used here I like very much. Embedding a video that is so valuable, and and people understand it's a video by it being large enough for them to realize that. So, so I think in this case, you did exactly the right thing. This, this is a video and people need to know it's a video. Yes, yes, understood. Okay, let's change the system message field and there's the change. And, oh, oh, whoops. You now there's a, okay, so I think here maybe what you're referring to is we, you tell them change the system message field, but you didn't tell them to reload the uh, configuration which is a step that they need to do after updating the file, isn't it? Yes, that's, yes, that's a good point. So I'm gonna just put that. a comment in here. Um, um, reload the existing configuration uh, to apply the uh, system message change. 
And then the next bullet, now go back to the dashboard and you will see the system, updated system message. Yes. So does, does that make sense to you? Does that seem okay? Totally. I, I actually forgot to recheck it again and again because I was just working on it on just before the time of the starting of this meeting. <laughs> and, and, and that I certainly, I most certainly understand. Good for you yes. for, for doing this. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes, I'll make that change for sure. Yeah, so, so now you've extended your blog post that instead of just doing one change, it also shows them where to what the YAML file is, how to change the system message. I like it. That's great. Yes. So I'm, I'm not sure, but I hope that this is exactly what uh, Tim was pointing out and was suggesting, right? Well, and this let's is... let's read his comment again together right. just to be sure. Okay. So, and let's make the text big enough that my eyes can read it. So. Tim said the field, okay, so here's one he's saying, he's suggesting this note could be removed. Do you mind if I remove that note? Yes, I actually removed it already in this current PR. Oh, you did? Okay, so yes. then I should be able to see that, I should be able to see that that's, oh, it says outdated, got it. Okay, very good, all right, and then this blog is missing where to put the Jenkins YAML file. And there it is. And you've got it. So I think you've done it. I'm going to mark this conversation as resolved. And I think you're ready if, well, actually, before I do that, let's cancel out of that. How do I cancel? Huh. So If we, yeah, it wants me to do the review still. Okay, would you be okay if, uh, just a comment. Would you be okay if I applied these changes because I think I have permission to do it if you don't mind that I apply them or would you like to be the one who applies them and then you can do the step to rename the files from 5-15 to 5-20, because I think we're ready to publish this blog. I don't have any problem. Uh, if you don't have any problem to do the changes, that's fine for me. Oh, and, and I certainly do not. If you don't mind, I'll just go ahead and here, sure. here's what we'll do is we'll, we'll use, go to files changed. And we will add those suggestions to a batch. And then we're going to commit those two suggestions. Okay. And now the next step is we need to do a rename. And now I could do that or you could do it. Do you have a preference? Uh, rename or fault? Um, so here I'll one of the complications here is, whoops, just a minute. So get poll, oops, not possible, okay. Three, six, one. Okay, so if we look at the files that changed, we see that the file name has 5-15 in it. And, and that was correct when we were at about the 15th of May. What we need to do is rename mm -hmm. them to be for today because we would like to publish today. Yes, exactly. And so what I would suggest is we do this
do a git move of those two files. Let's see, that was the a doc. We also need to move the image. And then we'll need to go inside the file to change those images. No such file. Oh, oh, whoops. Those were deleted. So it's the one that I need is Okay, now let me do that merge just a minute. Okay. And the git log thing. Okay, so what we have here minus n. Yeah, I think that actually may be enough. We could just leave the other images exactly as they are. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's ready. Oh, whoops, that won't help because it's no longer at 515. Log. Note that the date shows May 20th there, that's correct. And here we go. And it has that picture in it and that picture in it. Very good. So this looks reasonable. Now, one of the things we didn't check was we didn't check the open graph image. And you had added an open yes. graph image, right? Yes, I have added now it in the folder. Now we need to find that. So that's this file right here. So if I paste that file, there it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that, excellent. Okay, good choice of image. Well done. Uh, Very I'm not well able done. To see it. I don't know why. <laughs> you what? I'm not able. To... Yes, I can see it now. Okay. How is it? I think that's great. Okay. <laughs> COVID 19, configuration as code, and you. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, yes, because you said you should have some human face in it to attract more attention. That's why I thought. Right. Phenomenal. Exactly. And and I think I think that is exactly what. What we want is we need, it's clearly Jenkins and it's clearly got a human being who's working on it. And welcome to COVID-19. Yes. <laughs> lucky all of us, we feel so lucky. Okay, yes. so, so for me, this, this, looks, this looks like we're ready. Everything seems to be rendering correctly and your biography here is correct. And okay, your GitHub link works. Yep, and your LinkedIn link, let's see how it works. Yes, good, okay. I think we're ready to publish. Yes. So, so I'm going to push this one last change and uh, we'll see if, if it will allow me to publish, push it to your branch. Do I have to also do that change of uh, reloading it because uh, you told me that the re in the recent PR, I'm missing that step in which I need to rewrite a user. Oh, and I thought we had merged that. Let's double check. So let yes. me see. So is my feedback visible here? Actually, if we look at the commits, okay. So here is 
minor updates. So it included the reload the existing. So it's already there. Awesome, awesome. So okay. that's that's already done. And and now the one change that hasn't been done is this one. But it appears, oh, nope, it rejected it. Update, deny updating, okay. So we're gonna have to do it a little different way. We're going to have to do this. Hit branch minus minus delete. Sorry that you're having to watch me do git things. That's not not very interesting. Okay. For me, it's interesting because it's new to me. Okay, How so. How quickly are doing this? Honestly, Mark, when are you going to take me on a lesson on Git? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to give lessons on Git anytime. I'm just not sure how useful they are. That's. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's. I'm that's, calling the number. I've got to stop because of Git commands. <laughs> well, and certainly, I admit that I find them very helpful. The there are things that for me are just oh wow, why I didn't I know about that so long ago? Okay, wow. so Git log. Okay, so Diraj, if we're lucky. I will now be, okay, yes, there it is. This shows us the rename from 15 to 20. So now if we say git push, uh, maybe not. So you may have to do this, Diraj. Oh no, it's, no, it won't, it won't let me do it. So sometimes I'm given permission on, on people's repositories and sometimes not. So you'll need to do the rename of that um, that file, do you have access to a could a computer so that you could do it now? We could we could watch you go through it, and then we could get this merged. Um, sure. So, what exactly do I need to rename? Yeah. So, what we need to do is we need to rename. Let's see. Let me do it this way. I can push the branch um, origin. I'll push the branch to my my repository and that way you can see it if you need to look at it separately it is where where to go where's the branch oh there it is okay so all right so i'm going to paste this into our slack chat channel here so that branch and now if we click the, no, that's the pull request, you silly thing. Okay, that's not quite what I need. I want, no, I do not need to open a pull request. I want my fork. And in my fork, there should be a configure plugins with Jcask and there is the commit and there Okay, there is the change. So this is the thing that you need to do for yourself. And I could give you commands to do it so you could pull it from mine or you can just do it yourself. It's it's a pretty easy change. Uh, yes. Can you so just I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna stop sharing. If you want to share your screen and you don't mind being coached by me remotely, I am happy to happy to help you do it. Yes, I, I would love to get love to get coached by you. Uh, so can you see my screen? Yes. Sure. So what should I do next? So from your terminal window, mm -hmm. you'll need to go into that repository, do a yes. git pull so that you so you you receive the latest changes. Mm -hmm. So what this does is brings all of the changes that are on, were on GitHub down to you. 
And now, oh, that's very nice because right on your screen, two lines up from where your cursor is blinking is exactly the text you need to, to, to copy. So if you, yeah, double click that, the, the path of that file. So what we're gonna do is a git space MV. So a git move space that file space paste that file name again and then we're going to edit it to have a different name so instead of the 15th it's going to be the 20th exactly now hit enter it was that easy now git commit any message uh, yes so uh, prepare to publish 20th of may yeah perfect yeah, that's great. Enter. Yes. Done. Now get push. You are a heroically patient person using username and password authentication. That's very, very <laughs> brave Honestly? of you. I much prefer pri private keys. <laughs> Yes, definitely. I try my best. Okay. I think it has been pushed. Great. And so we see on your screen that the your push yeah. happened, right? Because there it is, prepare to publish. And if you mm -hmm. open that, you'll see what it, that it shows. Ah, I moved a file from one the file from one name to another. Mm -hmm. From fifteen to twenty. Yes. And now, about five minutes from now, we can mm -hmm. come back here and check and see that the the continuous integration job completed evaluated it and and then i'll be able to go ahead and merge it sure so let's wait for that and continue with the meeting excellent and congratulations this is great <laughs> thank you so much i'm really happy how do i so should i can you hear me i uh, can hear you just fine so are you okay if i take over sharing Yes, so I'll just stop sharing now. Great. All right. So, okay. So, so let's, I guess we should, what we should probably do is let's get the, the continuous integration job visible so that we know when it's done and we can merge. Okay. So here they are, latest pull requests, and there's the one building. And it says it's probably got. Five, it's got at least seven or eight more minutes to go. So it's six minutes in of 12 minutes. All right. So we'll, we'll come back and check this pretty soon. Very good. Now I apologize. I failed to make any notes in our office hours today. So I have to go for just a minute and let's make some notes on this. Okay, so the 18th, all right. And today is 20. Also, hi Zainab, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm doing really great, thanks. <laughs> great job, I can't wait to go and read your <laughs> blog post. Yes, please don't <laughs> tell me if any improvements are needed or not, thanks. <laughs> sure, thank you. Yes, and also please watch the video, uh, Mark is also uploaded on the YouTube channel. That would be really oh. great as well. Okay. All right, we'll do. Yes. So, so one topic then we had today was reviewed Diraj's blog post and merged it. And that's that set. I think we're ready. Um, Zinab, are there any topics you wanted to bring? I have one more topic. Let's call it Mark's news. But it can wait till the end. Anything else? Anything that you wanted to bring, Zinab? Um, I just wanted to ask about um, current um, documentation tasks for Jenkins. What is what are the current um, work that we need to do on Jenkins? Doc? If there's anything I could pick up, or probably a link where I could see. Um, Yes, excellent. So, so how about how about let's take a look at let's take a look at some different candidates together just to see what we've got available. So, if we look in the 
issues list. Um, let's look at first, first one is, well, let's see, if we look here at this one might be a very good one. If you're willing to make guesses on what the terminology, this one would probably be quite quite controversial and take some time to get it all the way to done because the discussions are still happening. So maybe this, maybe it's a little early yet for that one. Okay, so let's keep looking here. Um, this one is in progress now. Why don't we have, oh, we should have a linked pull request. Just a minute, this one is 4369. And that should have already closed it then. Okay, so thanks to Cynthia for, for doing that. Now, Docker. Okay, so here's a good choice. Now this one, have, have you been able to successfully build the site on your computer? I think you have, right? Um, yes, I have. Okay, good. All right. So then, then here's, here's one that, that will take some more thinking, but would be quite a help. It's, it's okay, Josh Soroff here had the question, hey, what is a Jenkins long-term support release? And oh, what he went yeah. looking for was, oh, here's the change log and the LTS upgrade guide and glossary doesn't mention it and user. So he thinks that this is the right place to put it and describe, oh, he doesn't think this is, a, this is the okay. only place to put it. So then he, it's, he's looking for, okay, where should it go? And it's Oleg's suggestion is, hey, we should reference it from the installing section, Jenkins section, release lines or downloads. So if you want to take this one, this would certainly be helpful. Okay, I'm going to go through it. Um, could you like, drop the link to the issue? Yes. So. There's, and, and let's, let's look, and pretty much any issue in this list that looks interesting to you, you're welcome to do. Okay. If you've got any experience with, with Nginx as a reverse proxy, this one, but this is Nginx as a reverse proxy is relatively complicated. So, so but, but it's certainly, if you've got access to a Linux computer, it's a, an interesting way to learn about reverse proxying or okay. let's see, do we have good first? Oh yes, here we go. There are also these that are called good first issue that we, we would love to have help on. Um, oh, so there are still pages that need migration. Wow, there's a lot. Yeah, so good first issues at this location. Oh, that's so hard to read. Let's just do it like that. Those are, are excellent candidates to, to help us out. And especially these redirects are relatively quick to do. The migrate ones are not. There's a lot of work hiding in, in these migrate ones. Yeah, I could tell because I worked on some of them before I started the <laughs> Jenkins on Kubernetes project. Exactly. A lot of yeah. updates and um, yeah. Now this, yeah, this one, if you want to do a little bit of work in code and layout, this mm -hmm. one is certainly an interesting one. You can see what, what Oleg's describing here. You see over here on the far right, May, yeah. It, yeah. it does the layout wrong, right? And yeah. now, and yeah, so, and there's a suggestion that, well, it says that it's resolved it. I don't know if it has. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not persuaded it has. So let's, are there any Jenkins events that are multi-day right now? Events, events. 
No, all the events are single day. So you'd have to fake it. You'd have to create a multi-day event to see if it's actually fixed. Mm. So Zenob, did that is is that enough help or would you like yes, further yes, further? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Um, then also there's something I wanted to discuss with you. Um there is an upcoming event. Um, oh, sorry. Let me just um, get a little bit more information. Uh, it's on Open Source Day by, um, sorry, Anita Borg um, organization. So they are organizing a open source day, it's just a one day workshop. And um, they're looking for, um, it's to encourage women in tech to contribute to open source, more women to contribute to open source also. So it's a one day event and they're looking for mentors. These are um, engineers that have open source experience that could take hands-on session on that one day event to show um, new contributors, how they can contribute to open source, probably how to submit a pull request and things like that. Maybe solve a minor issue on Jenkins. They're also looking for projects that they could use for the workshop during that one day. So if Jenkins is open to probably um, have some issues that you could work on and Jenkins would like to be part of the project that it could use for the workshop that day also. And if they are, um, people within the Jenkins community also that would like to take on um, session that day workshop, even you, Mark, because I can see how good you are with Git. <laughs> and I know that's like a very, very important topic when it comes to contributing to open source. So I just wanted to raise that. Though we've not fin fully finalized, they actually just sent an invitation to us also and um, asked if um, we had, um, organizations, um, if we could um, refer organizations that would be interested in participating. I'm not sure of the date of the event yet also. We we'll need to have a meeting with them to finalize, but if it is something that Jenkins would be interested in participating or any member of the community, I could share more information once I get info on it. I'm confident that the Jenkins project would love to present, if you don't mind a, a present, a pre thinking like a, a 30 minute or a one hour presentation, more than happy. We've got several people who could do that. Um, okay. Me, Cara Delamarque, um, Oleg, Kristen Whetstone. There are quite a number of us who could show, hey, this is how you do this. Um, now, now the, the, yeah, the date will, date will matter. So that's yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I thought so too. So um, I'll try to communicate with them as soon as possible to get the date. Hopefully there is um, enough time to prepare because um, I actually just got the information also yesterday. Okay. So um, once I get more information, I'll um, communicate it across. Great, yeah, there, there was a session that Oleg presented at Code for Cause India uh, mm -hmm. on, let's see if I can find it now, Code for Cause, maybe it was the Delhi meetup, just a minute, where they did past events, see all, see if I can find the link, I can just paste it there and you could see how Oleg did it, contributing to Falsy, mm -hmm. contributing to Open Mainframe, yes, so this is contributing to, where is contributing to Jenkins? No, okay, check style, TensorFlow. Come on. Huh. Well, that's why we have source engines. Contributing to Jenkins video from code for cause. So this would give you something you could look at, see, here we go. All right, so this mm. is it. 
And if I just stop that and I'll paste that in here, this is a one hour, one hour session that Oleg Nenashev did. Mm -hmm. And, and he's, I, I can't speak for him, but I've done those kinds of sessions before and happy to do them again. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, details as they arrive. Uh, Oleg's contributing to Jenkins session for Code for Cause. An example. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Anything, anything else? No, nothing else. Okay, all right. So, so the last item, and we're about to reach our end of time, I have some news to share. So I, on June 9, or June, yeah, June 9, 2021, I will be donating a kidney. Wow. To my nephew. All right, so I'll be out for up to eight weeks. Whoa. Recovering. Um, what I'm looking for, this is the place where the two of you um, help to cover um, my responsibilities in Jenkins in various ways. So Zenob, for instance, I hadn't thought of this before, but if you or if Diraj were interested in, um, for instance, creating the weekly change log, for Jenkins. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a task that I do that I think could be could we I could show one of the two of you next Thursday, for instance, how to do that if you're interested or both of you, because we need more people who are able to do it. Okay. Uh, and, sure. and it's yes, it, it's Oh, Diraj, you're interested as well. Yes. Yes. Sure. Great. Okay, so plan for a demo next week, then. Excellent, because um, we need to we need to do it, and it's it's really great to have have help people to do it. Uh, there are other there are other things like that where we've got the Jenkins Contributor Summit coming mm -hmm. June twenty fifth, and mm -hmm. I would normally tr coordinate the documentation track, but I won't be available, so we need someone else to coordinate the documentation track. Okay. Um, if you if you could share, I don't know. Probably in I don't know if there's going to be time in the next meeting. More details on what will be required um, for someone coordinating the track. Yes, yes. we would like to know the responsibilities that we have to take. Great. That's I would I would love to do that. So I'm happy to share it next next session, and uh, we'll we'll discuss. I'll be discussing these also during the next, the next um, Asia and Australia office hours. So next okay. uh, Tuesday, India time. Okay. Uh, that's that's the middle of your night, uh, Zenob. Mm -hmm. So there is no expectation you'll be there. It's it's scheduled at two a.m. UTC. So no no mm -hmm. assumption that anyone in Africa would ever attend it or in Europe. <laughs> it's, it's really much too late. That is. Yeah. All right. So, and I will be sending Mark sending email messages soon to the docs mailing list that describe this so that others will be aware of it as well. All right. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you both of you for the interest. Awesome. Any other topics? Um, no, that's it for me. Yes, oh. just a small thing. That is, uh, how are we going to analyze the videos that we have added on YouTube? 
Oh, oh, yes. So that's a that's a very good question. Let's I can show you how I do it. I switch to the Jen well actually let's even do it without switching. Let's just go look at the Jenkins playlists. And here, let's see where it was. What was it called? It was, I'll have to look at, oh, maybe I do have to switch to the Jenkins account because I, I, I certainly, well, I know what I can do. I can find it in your pull request, can't I? I just need the URL for the video and then we can look at its data. So the URL for the video is right here. Oh, nope, nope, wrong one. The URL for the down, video down, down. is, oh, it's, it's, there it is. Thank yes. you. That's the one. Okay, so now let's go here and stop that and replace it with this. Okay, so what we see, oh, this is great. You haven't even published this thing yet. No blog post, and it's already 231 views. Yay. <laughs> we've, we've done no promotion of this, and it's already 231 views. Well done, Diraj. Thank you so much. So that, that's actually quite impressive. So, okay, it's only been published for five days, and nothing mm -hmm. promoting it, and still people, people have viewed it yeah, that, well done, very well done. Wow. Okay, so Hello. any any other questions before we call this session done? Um, sorry, just one quick one. I just wanted to ask if um any of the mentees um for contributor reached out to you. They did. Yes, um, absolutely. And uh, okay. I've I've had a. I had a mentoring session with Esther Ejidike afterwards, mm -hmm. and I talked with Lucy Karimi afterwards. So very, um, very glad to hear from both complaints? of them. That was that was wonderful. Thank you for referring them to me. Okay, because um, Lucy Karimi had um, some complaints. I just wanted to make sure there was no... <laughs> Yeah, yes, and, and Lucy, at least she asked me clarifying questions and I gave her answers and she said, okay, I, I didn't attempt to resolve her concerns any further. I left that, I figured you'll, you'll decide how you want to handle those things. But I, yes, I gave do. her my, my thoughts and shared my, my comments. Okay, thank you. All right, and, and Diraj, I think we're ready to publish your blog post. Yes. I'm gonna, okay. So CI job is complete. Now I'm going to mm. do something different here because of this squash merge me and the number of commits on it. What I'm going to do is instead of merge pull request, I'm going to drop down this list and do squash and merge. This will turn the 15 commits that were used to create this into a single commit. The benefit of that is then the image we will only get it once in the in the, the commit instead of having it several times at different sizes. Mm. So squash and merge. And now we get to decide what text. Yeah, I think we're just going to do it like. I assume you're okay if we just have the commit message be like that. Yes, that looks great. All right. Confirm squash and merge. Oh, and Tim just approved them. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, just a few minutes ago. Excellent. So live development. Very good. <laughs> Anything else? Nothing for me. No, nothing from my side as well. All right, recording will be posted in probably half a day or so. Thanks to both of you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.